the top 10 largest machines. Number 10, La Princesse. Most large machines have a functional purpose, but La Princesse is by far the largest machine that's ever been made purely for entertainment. It was created by an art group from Nantes in France called La Machine and was unveiled during celebrations in Liverpool, England in 2008. The 50-foot tall spider weighed just over 37 tons and was built with 50 axes of movement to allow it to crawl through the streets. It took a team of 12 people attached to its body to operate the mechanical beast, and the wider support of 16 cranes, six forklift trucks, and a further 250 people. Apart from moving, La Princesse was designed with a number of special effects. It was covered in lights and speakers and was also able to produce rain, flames, smoke, wind, and snow. The event cost an estimated $2.5 million to stage, with officials pointing out that it was still cheaper than booking a famous music artist and generated far more worldwide coverage. The spider made a further appearance in Yokohama, Japan in 2009 and hasn't been seen since. Number nine, Schwere Gustav. The Schwere Gustav was the biggest single military weapon to ever be made and would have been truly frightening to any enemy that came across it. It was completed by the Nazis in 1941 as a means to break through the French fortifications known as the Maginot Line that formed a physical barrier between the German troops and Western Europe. The massive cannon weighed more than 1,490 tons and required a dedicated rail line to move along. 2,000 people were required to support it, most of whom were required to provide air cover to prevent enemies from destroying the easily spottable machine. It took four days to set up and could only fire 14 rounds per day, but each one of these packed an almighty punch. It was just over 155 feet long, 23 feet wide, and 38 feet tall, and the barrel itself was almost 107 feet long. This allowed it to fire 31-inch caliber shells that weighed 7 tons each and could be propelled to targets up to 29 miles away. The explosive force was able to make craters 30 feet wide and 30 feet deep. The French surrendered before the gun was ready to use, but later in the war, it was turned towards Soviet facilities. Eventually, though, it was dismantled by the Germans to prevent it from falling into the hands of the Soviet Red Army. Number 8. Tyson Gantry Crane Cranes are a common sight in cities and construction sites around the world, but there are some that are truly unbelievable in scale. The largest in the world is called the Taishun Gantry Crane, and it's at a shipyard in the Chinese port of Yantai in the Shandong province. The crane is named after a nearby sacred mountain and is used in the construction of large ships. It's 400 feet tall, 426 feet long, and it can lift loads of up to 22,146 tons to a height of 230 feet. This is by far the biggest lifting capacity of any machine on Earth, and its use in construction is said to save more than 2 million working hours for every semi-submersible it's used for. Number 7. Crawler Transporter Every time a rocket or shuttle launched from one of the launch pads in Florida's John F. Kennedy Space Center, people from around the world came to see the spectacular event. The massive vehicles required an incredible force to lift them out of Earth's atmosphere, but two of the largest machines in the world were used before the countdown even began. Rockets aren't built on the launch pad, but instead are prepared in the nearby vehicle assembly building. But how do you safely transport something that weighs several hundred tons? The answer is the crawler transporters. These two machines are the largest self-powered land vehicles on the planet and weigh 2,721 tons each. They are 131 by 114 feet and have 16 traction motors that are powered by four 1,000 kilowatt generators. They travel along the specially built three and a half mile long crawler way at a speed of one mile per hour when loaded in a trip that takes about five hours to complete. The two crawlers in use today are the same that were built in 1965 at a cost of $14 million each, but after having undergone significant modifications since then, it would cost far more than that to replace one today. 
Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 6. The Strato Launch The late co-founder of Microsoft, Paul Allen, had his sights on developing new technologies to help with spaceflight, and one of his companies developed the largest plane to have ever been built, called the Strato Launch. It's designed to be able to carry a vehicle the size of a shuttle to a high altitude before releasing it, but to do so requires considerable power. This aircraft has a wingspan wider than the length of a football field at 385 feet, and this is meant that it requires two separate fuselages with their own independent cockpits. It weighs a total of a half a million pounds and needs 28 wheels to support the weight, but amazingly has already conducted its first successful test flight where it reached a speed of 189 miles per hour. This could well be the future of spaceflight and will significantly reduce the fuel needed in comparison to traditional launches. Number five, FAST. FAST, which stands for the 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope, is currently the largest telescope in the world. It was built in a natural depression in the landscape and opened in 2016. It is the central feature of China's Pingtang Astronomy Town, which along with conducting scientific experiments, also seeks to entice tourists wanting to see the massive machine for themselves. It took five years and almost $500 million to complete, although a large part of that figure was to compensate people who were relocated. The fixed dish is 1,600 feet in diameter, but is covered in 4,450 triangular-shaped pieces that can be individually moved to focus on various parts of the sky. FAST has already made a number of important discoveries, but with 10 million tourists visiting in 2017, the operators have difficult choices to make about whether they focus on scientific or tourist-focused activities. Number 4. Bagger 293 Bagger 293 holds the current record for being the biggest land-based vehicle in the world and, at 315 feet tall, 740 feet long, and weighing more than 15,500 tons, it's an absolute monster. It was built in Germany in 1995 and is a bucket wheel excavator, used to move more than 8.5 million cubic feet of earth per day in a coal mine. 70-foot-long rotating wheel carves earth from the ground and transports it along a series of buckets and conveyors to the other end of the machine for it to be transported away by trucks. The operation requires a crew of five people to oversee and is connected to a dedicated power generator to keep it running. Number 3. The Seawise Giant Ship designs have become increasingly big in recent years, but perhaps surprisingly, the largest one to ever be built was completed in 1979. The Japanese super tanker called the Seawise Giant was more than 1,500 feet long and weighed in excess of 564,000 tons. The rudder itself weighed 230 tons and the propeller a whopping 50 tons. And it was so big that it was unable to sail through the English Channel the Suez Canal or the Panama Canal. When at her full speed of 16 and a half knots, the Seawise Giant needed a stopping distance of five miles and had a turning circle of more than two miles. Despite its ability to carry far more cargo than any other ship, its size meant that it was barely financially sustainable. In 1988, it was sunk by Iraqi bombs during the Iraq-Iran War and despite being salvaged and fixed, it went on to change hands and names several times before finally being scrapped in 2010, a job that took tens of thousands of workers to complete. Number 2. Overburden Conveyor Bridge F-60 The Overburden Conveyor Bridge F-60 is the largest movable machine in the world and at 1,647 feet long and a weight of 1,600 tons, it's bigger than the Empire State Building and even a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. There are four of them, and each are used in the open brown coal mines of Lusatia, Germany, where they are responsible for removing overburdens such as dirt and rock to allow other machines to move in and mine the coal. They have excavators that displace the material and have two chassis on wheels that move along rails on the bridges to reach the area they need to work on. 
Each of these bridges is a monumental feat of engineering and are credited with transforming German coal mining and, as a result, substantially improving the country's wider industrial industries. Number 1. The Large Hadron Collider The largest machine in the world by quite some distance is the Large Hadron Collider. It's the most powerful particle collider ever built, and it's based at the world's largest laboratory at CERN near Geneva in Switzerland. Particles are sped up to nearly the speed of light before being smashed into one another. But to do this requires a vast circular tunnel that's 16 and a half miles long and buried 328 feet beneath the surface. The LHC weighs more than 41,000 tons and cost almost $5 billion to build. The Collider and its associated experiments were such a massive undertaking that it needed to combine efforts of 111 countries to design, build, and test it. When operating at full capacity, particles are propelled around the 16 and a half mile tunnel so fast that they complete 11,000 circuits each second. And once their paths are crossed, they break apart into their constituent pieces. When the LHC was first opened, there was concern from some that it could create such a huge amount of energy that it would actually risk the safety of the entire planet. The experiments have been happening for a number of years now, though, and while they have successfully learned far more about the structure of atoms, they are yet to produce a black hole or miniature Big Bang that would destroy us all. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.